Would I be the asshole if I opt out of Thanksgiving with my parents because my brother and new wife who left me out of their wedding will be there? TLDR my brother left me out of his wedding, I was really hurt and I set a boundary for the relationship. Thanksgiving is coming and it's too soon after the conflict for me to be comfortable around him. Would I be the asshole for opting out this year, or offering to celebrate with just my parents on another day? My brother and I are 8 years apart, I'm older. Since he was about 12 I have lived in another state. We aren't close, but we hang out a few times a year and it's easy and fun. I recently moved to the same city as he and my parents. I envisioned us getting closer but it never really happened. He's the king of I'll call you tomorrow with zero follow up. It hurts my feelings, but I've accepted it and take what I can get. He got married this past September. I was told that there was no wedding party because his wife's family is too big for her to make a choice and she didn't want to leave people out. I was given instructions to get a gray suit and that I'd be given a blue tie for pictures. The day of the wedding I was hanging out in the men's dressing room and I saw that my brother has a gold tie. And that his best friend has a gold tie. And that his old bandmate has a gold tie. Odd but I didn't think too much of it. The ceremony started and I was sitting in the audience. Lo and behold, the music starts and there's a procession. My brother's two gold tie friends walk in and line up on stage left, and his wife's sister and her husband walk in and line up on stage right. The non-existent wedding party. At this point I have an almost out-of-body experience. The ceremony was a blur. After the ceremony we took pictures which means I took one picture with my brother and that was it. I spent the cocktail hour in a stall in the bathroom, embarrassed and hurt. I made it through dinner okay, and instead of cake my brother had made a ton of his specialty cookies for dessert. I'm allergic to the recipes is, but with a simple tweak I can have them. He didn't make any for me, or even warn me this was happening so I could bring my own dessert. Anyways, I left the second dancing started. And a week later sent the newlyweds a letter saying basically I thought things would improve once I moved here. But this wedding has shown me that we don't have a relationship outside holidays at mom and dad's house, so let's just keep it real and I will see you there. Being disappointed all the time isn't healthy for either of us. The problem is that Thanksgiving is upon us, and not only will they be at my parents' house but they are bringing a couple of friends with them, so I will be really outnumbered and uncomfortable. Would I be the asshole if I opt out for this one year, stating it's too fresh of a wound for me and I'll see you all at Christmas? I am 8 years older than my brother. He was in 5th grade when I left for college. We do not have a close relationship and with our age difference I would never expect to have one. I wouldn't expect to be part of the wedding party when he gets married. We are acquaintances by blood, at best. Do what you need to do in regards to Thanksgiving, but know that he's just not that into you. ESH brother shouldn't have lied about there not being a wedding party. Op needs to stop trying to force a relationship with brother that they don't have. Brother didn't want you in the wedding party because you're not close. He didn't make you your own special cookies at his wedding because his wedding doesn't revolve around making sure you have a dessert. The letter to the newlyweds was pettiness overkill, but hopefully you mean it and you finally accept that you can't force a close relationship just because you want it. Why do grown adults insist upon acting like children? ESH. He should have told you. And don't act like you're being all mature saying you set a boundary. You made a sulking ultimatum because your brother didn't give you the fancy gold tie at the wedding. Nah, I think you just really overthink things at times and try too hard with your brother. Not the asshole for not going but you're the asshole for your behavior surrounding the wedding. You locked yourself on the bathroom stall for an hour? Siblings do not equal auto best friends and it sounds like you moved back into town and expected him to center you in his life. This isn't reasonable or particularly mature. Soft you're the asshole. By your own admission you're not close, don't see each other often, and there's an age gap so I assume you didn't overlap at home for very long. Should he have been upfront with you about the wedding party? Yes. But he was under no obligation to include you. You're the asshole and I'd suggest therapy to deal with your issues. Y'all aren't close, have never been close as adults or even as kids, lived away from the family and you expected to be in his small wedding party. Yeah he should have been upfront about it with you but man you have some major overreactions. Stay away from Thanksgiving if you want but man get help. ESH. Reading your comments is painful and kinda makes me want to say you're the asshole just because I'm not surprised he lied instead of dealing with telling you the truth, but he should have done it anyways. If I had to guess there was not going to be a wedding party and then they changed their mind and he just didn't think to tell you because you're not in it so why would he? He certainly didn't do anything that's avoid family holidays to not have to see his face, but if that's what you need to do then do it, 
it does seem incredibly juvenile though. Wow, you thought your brother's wedding was the place to start complaining about a relationship you bear 50 responsibility for? You're the asshole. Info you plan hangs with your brother? You're the asshole. I read the title and assumed he hadn't invited you. He didn't leave you out of the wedding. He just didn't make you a groomsman. You're going to decide to not see your parents for an important holiday, damaging your relationship with them, because a brother who you aren't close to invited you to his wedding but didn't give you a special role? If you've decided it's past the point of trying to make this an important relationship, why give it so much of your attention? Why give up Thanksgiving with your parents because of him? I'm sorry but yeah you're the asshole. You admit that you've not lived in the same state as your brother since he was 12, and now you've moved back you expected to what be best man at his wedding. You be his best friend and want to hang all the time? He has his own life and own friends. I mean don't go oh if you can't go and be happy and have a good time. Your brother did nothing wrong though. His wedding isn't about you, to make it about you is selfish. Not sure how many other people worry the wedding but I am sure many had reasons they couldn't eat the dessert. I am torn between ESH and you're the asshole. I have a feeling he lied because of how dramatic you are currently being. You're the asshole the title made it sound like you weren't invited to the wedding at all but you just weren't in the bridal party? Y'all aren't close, since he was 12 you have lived away from him, you weren't there for his big life milestones it sounds like their bridal party was very small. You are making a mountain out of nothing. Very soft you're the asshole. You moved away when he was 12 and you were 20. You're not close and just because you moved back doesn't mean that is going to change overnight. Being close is a two-way street and it seems that you aren't willing to put the time in either unless you get immediate reward for it in terms of being asked to be in a very small wedding party for a family member you admit you aren't close with yet. You're the asshole. It sounds like their wedding party was just a few people who are very close to them. It's completely unreasonable for you to hold a grudge over this. Learn to let the little things go. You're the asshole. You make it sound like you were entitled to be in the wedding, and guess what? You aren't. It is their wedding, not yours. In fact, this letter is a pretty good example of why they didn't want you in the wedding to begin with. Yeah? So, you're allowed to set boundaries but your younger brother has to include you in his life according to your expectations? He is allowed to have a life that doesn't revolve around you, and he chose other people to be a part of his wedding party. You went and hid in a toilet because you couldn't just be happy for him to be his own man? You sound tiresome. If this is how you typically react, it's no wonder your brother keeps you at arm's length. So don't go duh. You don't need to go but you should, because it would be nice for your parents. Info how old are you and your brother now, and how recently did you move back into town? I'm gonna go with ESH. They didn't need to lie and tell you that there isn't a wedding party. That was a pretty ah move on their end. Sending the letter was unnecessary. You don't need to go. But you also don't need to force a relationship where one doesn't exist. You're the asshole. Relationships go both ways. The two of you are not close and it's no one's fault, however the way to fix it isn't sending a letter and going no contact. You should work on your relationship by talking to him. No way, you are not the asshole. Your brother could have at least said he just didn't want you there, which still would have hurt your feelings but it isn't as bad as lying to your face entirely. I really hope you can rebuild the relationship but I think it's perfectly okay for you to opt out for one holiday. I'd kabata or not the asshole but I think you should go. So he didn't want you in the wedding party but you said yourself you're not close. And as far as saying there wasn't a wedding party, there may have not been one when you asked, who knows bc it doesn't sound like you followed up or asked about it. But life is short and it only hurts you if you're willing to sacrifice making new memories over getting even. It's your life, don't let anyone else take a lead role. Just laugh it off and seek a good time. You're the asshole. You need therapy. For those saying ESH here because he lied, I mean I'd assume that the brother lied because he felt constantly pressured into a relationship, and didn't know how to say that he reasonably given their relationship didn't want him in the party. I'll give an extremely light you're the asshole, just because there isn't that much malicious intent, like you aren't really an asshole, just maybe need to reevaluate how you approach relationships perhaps going towards a more organic approach. You're the asshole. You haven't lived in the same state as him since he was 12, why would you be in his wedding party? You were still invited at least. Nah. You don't need to go. But your brother did nothing wrong. You do not need to put siblings in the wedding party just because. Jay had the desserts Jay wanted for his wedding. 
Your allergies are bad for you but don't affect wedding deserts. You're the asshole for trying to force something with your brother. He shouldn't have lied about there being no wedding party, but you need to get rid of your entitlement over his wedding. It's not about you, it's not about you being in the wedding. It's about him and his wife coming together. People also need to stop saying I set a boundary over this. Seriously you can't set boundaries over someone else's wedding.